Silly Telly's Thanksgiving Dinner by Lillian Hogan. It was Thanksgiving morning. Silly Tilly was in her garden. Leaves were falling all around. Summer is gone, said Tilly. I can't remember where it went. A robin flew past. Goodbye, Tilly, he called. It is cold and I am going south. Mr. Bunny came hopping down the path. He had on a scarf and mittens. He was pulling earmuffs down over his ears. What are earmuffs? Earmuffs go over your ears to keep your ears warm. At snow? Yeah. I am just practicing, said Mr. Bunny, in case we get frost tomorrow. Oh dear, said Silly Tilly. I forgot to remember that winter is coming. I forgot to remember Thanksgiving is here. Tilly ran down the path to her house. Wait, Mr. Bunny, she called. I have something for you. What did you say, Tilly? yelled Mr. Bunny. I can't hear with those earmuffs on. <laughs> you can't hear because it blocks out the noise when you have these on. I said, wait, called Tilly. She turned to look at Mr. Bunny. She ran, bump, right into the tree. Her glasses flew off. Mr. Bunny hopped over. Did you say wait? I did, said Tilly, but now my glasses are gone, and I can't remember why I said it. That's all right, said Mr. Bunny. I will sit down here and wait for you to remember. Mr. Bunny sat down. Uh-oh, said Mr. Bunny. I think I found your glasses. Oh, thank you, said Tilly. That's it, she cried. I just remembered what I forgot. Does Tilly have glasses? He sat on them. It is Thanksgiving. I'm having Thanksgiving dinner for all my friends. Wait, I will get your invitation. Tilly put on her glasses. She ran into the house, but her glasses were smudged and everything looked foggy. Hmm, said Tilly. There's fog in my house. Her glasses were smudged, so she thought it was fog in her house. No, but it's not. It's not. I can't have fog in my house at Thanksgiving dinner. Tilly opened the window to shoo the fog out, but the fog would not go away. <laughs> But it's not fog. Right. Tilly called Mr. Bunny. I'm still waiting for my invitation. Oh dear, said Tilly. I forgot to remember where I put the invitations, and it is so foggy I can't see where they are. <laughs> I will get a broom and sweep the fog out. <laughs> She's going to sweep the fog. She has a smudge on her glass. Yeah, but Tilly, the fog wouldn't go on. It's not really fog. Tilly ran to the kitchen to get a broom, but she could not see. She bumped into the stove. Just in time to cook Thanksgiving dinner, said Tilly. She ran to the cupboard to get pots and pans. She forgot where she was going. She went to the table and got some cards instead. Here are the invitations, she said. Mr. Bunny, she called. Here is your invitation. Mr. Bunny hopped up to the door. Are they all for me? He asked. Oh, dear, said Tilly. I forgot. There's one for Miss Squirrel. And there's one for Mr. Woodchuck and Mr. Chipmunk. But I forget to send it. That's all right, said Mr. Bunny. I will give them out on the way home. Mr. Bunny looked at the card. First card said, Mrs. Squirrel's acorn jam. Mash a bowl of acorns and a cup of sugar. Stir and cook over low heat. <laughs> That's a recipe, huh? That's not an invitation. The next card was the recipe for Mr. Woodchuck's pine nut cake. The next card was the recipe for Miss, Mr. Chipmunk's cranberry stew. And the next one was a recipe for Miss Fieldmouse's oat bran pudding. And the last card was the recipe for Mr. Bunny's sweet potato pie. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum, said Mr. Bunny. What a great idea. This is going to be the best Thanksgiving dinner. And Mrs. Bunny hopped off to give out the cards. Tilly heard and hurried into the kitchen to start cooking. Now where are all those recipes, she asked. She hurried over to her desk, but she could not see it. She forgot what she was looking for. He's silly. Yeah.
Oh, dear, she said. It is getting late and I am tired. I will sit near the fire and try to remember what I forgot. Tilly sat down near the fire and she fell asleep. <laughs> when she woke up, it was dark. Almost time for Thanksgiving dinner, she said. <laughs> Almost time for guests to arrive. Tilly got up to set the table. But she couldn't see. And she didn't make any food. Oh dear, she cried. I just remember what I forgot. It's so foggy I could not see to find the recipes. I never could I never could cook Thanksgiving dinner. Tilly started to sniffle. Her eyes filled with tears. Just then the door Yep, she's crying. Flew open. Who's there? called Tilly. She wiped her eyes. Then she wiped her glasses. The fog was gone and she could see. <laughs> and then she saw Mrs. Squirrel carrying a bowl of acorn jam and with Mr. Woodchuck a pine nut cake. She saw Mr. Chipmunk with a pot of cranberry stew. And she saw Mrs. Fieldmouse with some oak bran pudding, and she saw Mr. Bunny carrying a sweet potato pie. They brought him over. Oh, how lovely, cried Tilly. Now we can have Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> but just as they sat down to eat, they heard gobble, 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 gobble. The front door flew up and it in came Mr. Turkey with a bag of corn. Tilly Mole said, Mr. Turkey, don't you know you can't have Thanksgiving without Mr. Turkey? <laughs> oh, Mr. Turkey, said Tilly. Everybody knows that. I just forgot to remember to give Mr. Bunny your invitation. <laughs> this is Tilly, silly. So they all had Thanksgiving dinner. See? Then they sat around the fire. They sang songs. Mr. Turkey made his recipe for me. Mr. Turkey's best ever popcorn. And everybody said it was the best Thanksgiving ever. The end. Can you leave me another one? Sure. Click on Tumsky to subscribe. Click on the next show you want to watch. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. You can follow us on Facebook as well. Look down below under Show More. See you soon.